Hey guys, and welcome from the beautiful Kara Beach in Phuket, Thailand. Now Holly's here doing a course director prep course, but I've got a few days diving. So today we're going to go out and check out Raja Ya and Raja Noi Islands, which we had schools of barracuda, really cool little live critters. Let's jump in and go check this awesome little dive site on these beautiful islands in Thailand. It's awesome to be back in Thailand. Now, I used to work in this beautiful country back in 2016, but I'd never explored these islands of Raja Noi. It's more specifically, we're at Banana Bay. Now, it's about 20 kilometers south of the main stretch of Phuket Peninsula, but from the dock, it's around about 50 kilometers. It takes about two hours to get here on the dive boats we're at. And to be honest, they look after you in the boats because they give you food, breakfast, and we had a great time just chilling, relaxing, enjoying the stunning scenery of Thailand on the way down. And we get to go explore the first dives of the day. We're looking around, we're around about 20 meters, 80 feet, and under the rocks was lionfish. But at this dive site, you can see the way the reef is coming up, stacked up. You look in the little nooks and crannies, you were coming across new branks and Holly's favorite Cushion starfish. Now, as we were moving around this dive site, in the depths, there wasn't too much to see. It was mainly sand with the odd reef patches. But while we were working our way back up from depth to the shallows, this is where the reef started coming alive, in the shallows. As you can see, Boone is telling us she spotted a lionfish. To be honest, I was more distracted by all the cool fish all these little like damselfish and baitfish just cruising around. I was just in awe, flicking my hand, having them fly around. It was so cool. Now you can see me looking around, just enjoying the dive site. You can see the visibility was beautiful. Right now, we're about 15 meters and you can see how clear that water is. But this is what the treat of this dive site was, the Barracuda. We were making our way back up in the shallows to head to the safety stop and the schools of Barracuda came out of nowhere. Boone had told us that this dive site is really famous for schools of Barracuda, more juvenile schools. So I had to go for the selfie shot. Got to look cool underwater, don't we? Now I loved it, just sitting, enjoying this Barracuda. Because some people say Thailand has a reputation of overfishing and to be honest, I think this kind of proves you wrong, that there was plenty of fish to enjoy on this dive. And I was just happy to sit and enjoy it. And even when there's DSDs swimming around, people getting to experience the ocean for the very first time in the shallows just on the boat, when you're only at six meters, and there's schools of barracuda. I mean, could you imagine this was your first dive? Seeing this, it's pretty special. And then right under the boat, to be honest, this is where the most life was and the better reef. We were only at five, six meters and the reef was healthy and there was just so many fish and marine life here. What's really nice is to actually be returning back to Thailand. I'd been working here in 2016 in this beautiful country and the reef had been getting really, really hammered. You've always heard about the famous beaches being shut down because of over-tourism as well. Because of COVID, the numbers have dropped in tourism for that period. And what we're starting to see is the numbers of tourism coming back. But in that break during COVID, the reef has really rebounded and regenerated. And it's really nice to see this because I remember in Thailand, a lot of the reef was dead and dying. Pretty much like how the Caribbean is at the moment. But luckily here, the reef was not dying. It has rebounded and looking amazing. So guys, 
Stay around for the series coming up of Thailand. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share. Helps us a lot. And guys, as always, we'll see you on the next dive.